And I'm sure Club Boomerang had some great food, right? You know what? I don't remember if they sold food in Boomerang. Well, mean, well, I think we're getting to your okay. diet. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, because you take a diet where you only eat once a day. And you don't eat no swine. You don't eat no beef. No minute. Wait, you eat Mediterranean food, right? Yeah. Yes. Is it good for the soul? Well, I don't know how good it is for the soul, but um, I just read up uh, where the Mediterranean diet is um, a good, a good healthy diet, and, and a lot of um, it's responsible for longevity in terms ah. of people living a long time. If they follow the Mediterranean diet, I've seen stories of people living to be a hundred and some years old. But um, that knowledge just adds on to what I had already gotten from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad in in a book he wrote called "How to Eat to Live," and mm. he doesn't talk about just being ninety or a hundred years old. He talks about being hundreds of years old and how the prophets of old would live to be three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred years old because of their dietary habits, the, the dietary law that they follow, where um, we, we talk about eating one meal a day. Mm -hmm. Not a lot. Muhammad teaches to eat one meal a day, but that is really just a starting point to be to be honest with you. That's just oh. you know, that's a baby step. You yeah. know? <laughs> but in reality, um, he goes on to talk about once you condition your body to eat one meal a day, then go to one meal every other day. So now you eat oh. one meal every 48 hours. Then when you condition yourself to eat one meal every other day, go to one meal every three days where you eat once every 72 hours. And he said, if you did that, you would never get sick ever. <laughs> I, I know people. I have friends and I have friends in, in the nation of Islam who um, who practice eating once every two days. I had a shout out to, to my brother, Doc, who um, he he eats once every other day. And we would be in the gym. You know, I'd be in there playing basketball. He'd go in the weight room. We just come. We we'll always come together and talk at some point every day. And um, it would be funny because um, he'll say, yeah, man, I'm getting ready to go home. He'll say, um, Today is an eat day. <laughs> <laughs> like, so we can't fathom that because in our mind, every day is an eating day. Right. But he would literally have a day where like, I didn't eat yesterday. So today is my day to actually eat a meal. Then tomorrow I'm not going to eat, you know, because you're just giving your body time to, to remove the toxins from the food you eat. And um, you're disciplining yourself on a level that in this Western society, people can't even fathom doing that. And you can get that book probably what on NOI.org? NOI.org. NOI How to Eat and Live. I, I got a copy of this. I want to show, I can show people. All right. So they can know what to look for when they see it. You know, this is How to Eat and Live. And they have book one and two. Two books. And two, yeah, yeah, no doubt. Because some things, you know, there's a lot, a lot of this information. You know, they, they had, it was so nice they had to do it twice. Already. <laughs> he had to do it. Donald Elijah Muhammad had to do it twice. You know? Already. These are his teachings. These are his words. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And Dopey introduced you to the Muslim culture, per se. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. And it was Dope, just like Dope. one day, like a Sunday, like, what yeah, you doing? Yeah, he invited me and Nip to the mosque. You know, Dope had already been going. He had already been immersing himself in the teachings and, um, and this, this, I just remember him inviting me and Nip, and we went, and um, we was like, yeah, this this sounds really good, <laughs> you know? So mm -hmm. we kept going, and kept going, and kept going, and never stopped going, and then 30 years later, we still go, you know? So it just, uh, it was a blessing, you know, even though Dope has moved on to different uh, ideologies, and, you know, still rooted in the, uh, the upliftment of black people and black consciousness, but just different um, groups and organizations and things of that nature. But I always give him props uh, for bringing me to those teachings because I've incorporated those teachings into my my music and to my life to the to 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 a good degree, but not to a perfect degree, mm -hmm. but to a 
a degree. And um, I think it, it has such a profound impact on me that I wouldn't be, uh, I definitely wouldn't be the artist that I am. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, even though I can improve as a person, I wouldn't be the person that I am. You know? Yes. I would, I wouldn't, I would probably still be eating pork and <gasps> beef and all that other stuff that I eat. So I, maybe I wouldn't be physically where I am. So, you know, I, I, I thank a lot for that. I thank a lot for him bringing us to that and, you know, whatever I was able to get out of it, I'm thankful for that. Oh, really? And so, like, before that, you were just like Southern Baptist church guy? Or? Yeah, yeah, I grew up a Christian, grew up in the Christian church, Baptist church. Oh, okay. You know, just that's, that's my upbringing. And, and I don't have no animosity towards that because, you know, whatever is responsible for introducing you to and rooting you in God, that's a beautiful thing. You know, it, it, even if it, like, if it was Christianity and you find out the other details of it later on and if this was tampered with and this was false and this was, that's fine. But at the core of it, my mother and my grandmother, they still brought me into that and that rooted me in understanding of God and a higher power and, and the, um, the relationship that I should have. You know, I got that in Christianity, you know, so... I don't have no knocks on that. Any any differences in in the in the ideologies, you know, you sort that out. But the principles are similar in both. But one just allowed me to understand the other one a little better. Right. So it gave me an appreciation for what I got out of the out of the other one. You know, right. We, and- we, come to, we come. We trying to unify. We ain't trying to. Divide. And that's the thing, man. People get that so confused. And you just mentioned like Allah is like, huh, huh, huh. I'm like, chill, yeah, chill, chill. Just means, just means the yeah. same thing. Like, okay. <laughs> it's cool. All right. Golly. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> one God, one God with many names, you know. Right. I'm, I'm speaking to somebody um, who's a Jehovah's Witness. And we having a conversation about God, and they said, "Yeah, man, because I just believe that Jehovah wants me to." I'm not gonna be like, "What?" I'm, 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 yeah, that's beautiful. You know, I know exactly who you're talking about. We talking about the same person. You right. know, we say Yahweh. Hey, man, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. You know, so it just we get so caught up in those labels, and we've allowed the world to to, to divide us because of those labels, and we and plus we don't really study. To understand the root of of names and 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 we don't we wouldn't feel so threatened and offended when we hear these things. Like, okay, well, yeah, I mean, I, I know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, it's just I think the media, because like I mean, I learned this a long time ago, not just from listening from you. It's like other people and stuff like television lies, and that's what y'all will break it down like tell lie vision and it's like the media wants to put it out there stuff about muslims like they're going to give this to you and program you like don't listen to it find the truth for yourself you know right, right, right. people people are, are really afraid that um whatever foundation that they stand on they're afraid that their foundation gonna get rocked <laughs> they feel like even if they investigate an alternative to what they've been taught they feel like it's gonna destroy or take something away from them that they feel they need. When in reality, the goal should always be to seek knowledge and, and learn as, as much as you can. So, um, and then I tell people all the time, you know, if, if you that true and rooted in what you say you are, you don't feel threatened to discuss anything with anybody about a different religion, a different viewpoint. You don't feel threatened because I'm cemented in mine. I'm good. Mm-hmm. So I can listen to you and you can come with all kinds of stuff. You can hit me with stuff that I never heard of. And I'm be like, okay, I'm going to have to check that out. Right. It's going to knock me off mine, you know, because I know what mine is. And and even if I don't have the, um, the greatest understanding of my own, because there's so many levels to it that I, I haven't ascended to the highest heights of the teachings of Allah Elijah Muhammad, it's, it's too, it's, it's in, almost impossible 
But so even if you hit me with something that I might not, okay, well, I don't really know what you're talking about, but I can hold my poster like, I, I know that there's a answer to what you're saying. I may not have it, but let me get back to you on that. Right. Yes. And when you feel like, because uh, we already talked, uh, you're not really going to retire from this rapper. But say you did. Would yeah. you ever become like the fruit of Islam or something? I mean, for me, I feel like, I mean, I know what you mean. You're like officially registered. Yeah, I'm, yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm already a, a fruit of Islam, you know. Oh, okay. But, well, yeah. I'm just I, mean I, like I, one of them dudes that we have the. Bow tie. Yeah. 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 Bow tie, bow tie. I don't know. I can't. I can't say that I would. I can't say that I would. You know, I. I, I would never say I wouldn't. Right. Um, I couldn't definitively say I would. I, I understand that everybody's role won't be to be in that capacity like that. You know. Um, I would say this is definitively my role. My role. I just feel like my purpose or my impact comes from doing it through this music the way I do it. You know, and, and moving up the way I move, but um, you can never say never. I I'd never be the one to say that that couldn't ever happen.